Prince Andrew, Delane Maxwell. Let's see what happened. Hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Don't you want to know? Because I kind of do. You know, Ghislaine Maxwell, that trial is heating up, and you know she's going to be spilling some information. And it may not come in on the American courts, but some of this could bleed over into the British uh, situation. I mean, how protected is Andrew? And how far was he in this? So here's the little bit I know. I mean, it's all hinging right now on the prosecution against Ghislaine Maxwell in the United States. And she's got triple citizenship. She's a citizen of the United States, the UK, and France. And of course, there's no extradition extradition for, I guess it's France. But, um, and then how often was Prince Andrew on that Lolita Express? And uh, was money exchanged? And, and he's always been in uh, close ties with all these uh, Saudis. So is that part of it too? I mean, let's ask those questions. And um, it looks like this whole thing with Ghislaine should be over by Christmas, although they thought it would take longer than that. And uh, we're just wondering, uh, is information going to come out uh, during this thing that's going to move uh, Prince Andrew? So this is another Los Scarabio, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded, is what's the deal with these. All in the right away uh, iconography, kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read but the um, what's good here is in the cards they're kind of handy to use so that's all good and look at how beautiful they are I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person but when you use these in person I mean they are really stunning and someone feels like they're getting their money's worth so we we'll mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards and sometimes it's good to lift the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute and then people get more involved you know once you've touched it it's uh, it's more appealing so here we go we'll get this going <laughs> okay so let's see how involved poor Prince Andrew is in all of this okay these cards are just stuck together let me give him a riffle shuffle before I do some of that Let's see if that'll help him out a little bit. So yeah, Ghislaine Maxwell, she's on trial in the U.S. right now, and uh, there's no telling what information is going to come out. Did you know that she's married? How about that? But um, so yeah, Prince Andrew must be sweating bullets because he knows what she knows, and um, and whether any of that um, is difficult for him or or doesn't bother him at all. You know, I want to know. Um, did he have full knowledge of what was going on here? Did he know those were underage girls? And then, um, is he going to get caught up in this uh, case with Ghislaine Maxwell right now? Will he somehow get caught up in that? I, I can't see how because they know they can't bring him here to testify. Huh. So, Ghislaine Maxwell and Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew... Is he going to get caught up in this situation with Ghislaine's trial? Three cards. One, two, three. That will be what's interesting to know. Okay, first card. Okay, so this is the star. This is a woman. I'm going to say the star of this show is Ghislaine. Okay, that's what this is telling me. Next card for that. Will Prince Andrew get caught up in it? Well, this is the death card. Um, so this is the end of something. Very interesting. This is the end of something. Last card. And this is long-term plans. You know, I think this whole reading is about Ghislaine. 
I don't think it's anything about Andrew, as a matter of fact. She's the star of the show. It's over for her, and she might as well make plans to stay where she is for quite some while. She's been in that. Um, <clears throat> it's not an actual a prison, but it's a federal lockup in Brooklyn, apparently. So it's, you know, a, a confinement, jail-like, but not a prison. Very interesting. She's been in there uh, over a year. So the Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, did you know... I mean, come on. Did you know these were underage girls uh, involved in all of that? You must have. You must have had some clue. So Prince Andrew, did you know what you were getting into? Three cards. Prince Andrew. One. No. Two. Three. Prince Andrew, did you know what you were getting into with uh, Ghislaine and Jeffrey? First one. Okay, so this is the five of wands. Wands are actions, uh, forward movement, uh, planning. But in this case, these uh, this is just a pointless conflict. Just uh, a ridiculous, um, um, bloodless kind of uh, argy-bargy. Okay, so this is the fool starting off on his journey. And, uh, you know, this looks to me like Prince Andrew. Just getting involved with things without knowing what's going on. The last of this is again the star so Gillian. so what this is to me is that there was just uh, there's so much confusion going on here he just wandered into this blindly and it was Gillian who probably led him into the picture i mean she was the one who had the royal connections after all not epstein let's see if andrew you know he will probably pay some sort of a a, a monetary price for this but I want to know if he's going to pay some more. Will there be moral judgment? And uh, if not moral judgment, then will there be legal judgment for him? So, uh, this will be a full uh, Celtic cross. So Prince Andrew, will there be moral judgment that we see for you? Yeah, Prince Andrew, moral judgment. Will we see that that you have to pay? Okay. These six cards. Let's see what information we have here. The first card, oof. Well, uh, this is the Ten of Swords. Ten uh, Swords are uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. And um, this is the end of a situation. So it looks to me like uh, Prince Andrew is going to uh, come to some end with this. That's the signifier of this card, of uh, this uh, draw. The challenge to that then is the um, Ace of Cups. So this is a compassionate offer. And I think this is what's all the help that's coming from the royal family to help. Um, to help. So this end is uh, buffeted uh, by that. The base of this reading then, with this four of coins, coins are value, and this is just really trying to hold on to your value. And that's where what's happening here is they're trying to salvage some sort of value for uh, the prince. The past of this reading is the hermit, and that's the past. You know, the hermit takes shines a light, is careful uh, where he's going, and uh, makes a plan before he makes it move forward. But that was in the past, and I think it. it I, I just I, I don't I think that could be how the the family is coming into this, but it's not going to help them because it is over the the world the firm. In other words, in the sky of this reading. We have the Four of Swords, and uh, this Four of Swords is typically telling this person, you know, you bet these rules, this law, this justice is here waiting for you. You better lay down, think about your doing, about what you're doing, and don't jump up too soon because you might get uh, stabbed. That's the best he can hope for. Lay low. Uh, the likely outcome of the first part of this. Uh, with this Knight of Cups, again, Knight of Compassion, a uh, Cups of Compassion Emotion, uh, uh, kind of trotting into the picture here. So, yeah, this is coming from the royal side, this help, this compassion. Will he pay, let's, let's shuffle these up a little bit. So, will he pay a, uh, we talked about the emotional side of it, will he um, have to pay some sort of a legal consequence other than money? Legal consequence other than money. Will there be, for Prince Andrew, a legal consequence other than money? A legal consequence for Prince Andrew other than money. Other than money. The self of that question, then, a uh, magician. So it looks like with this magician, he's got all the tools that he needs. The, the cups, the, the cups, the pinnacles, the wands, and the swords. He's got everything he needs to make his magic happen. So I'm going to say probably not. And it's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of this three of coins, 
putting stuff that's some value together for public display. So again, just like they're trying to hold on to the value now, they're trying to cobble together whatever they can of his value to uh, to you know rescue his reputation. The um, hopes of the fears of this then whether he'll pay a legal consequence uh, with this. Uh, what do we have here? This knight of wands. So uh, this again, wands are plans, actions, movement. Fire and this knight has been tasked by the court, the royal court, the firm, to make a plan to um, to salvage uh, what's left for Andrew. And then the likely outcome of that, as far as legally is concerned, um, ah, it's <laughs> so this is the uh, empress, and uh, she's in charge. She's going to make magic happen. And uh, so this, if it's if it's not the queen, this is the monarchy, and uh, they're the ones that are going to save the day for Andrew. No, there's not going to be any. Uh, anything paid here. I'll just go over it quickly again. But yeah, so uh, emotionally, uh, is he going to be, is, is there going to be a, a come up and sort him? No, this is the end of it. Um, uh, he will suffer all the embarrassment and the, and the, the hard um, justice that is there um, emotionally. But the firm is going to come in with this ace of cups uh, with a great big offer of compassion to buffet that for him. The focus here has been and will remain to be just keeping a hold on his value with his four of pentacles. This hermit in the past looking for a way, you can see that this hermit has turned away from the situation. It's too late for this to happen. This is what it should have happened in the past, taking some care to look at what you were doing. And in the sky of this, the best he can hope for with his four of swords is just to lay low and don't get up and get stabbed. Just keep yourself quiet and keep out of the picture. And then the likely outcome of that emotionally for him is that the firm does rush in with some sort of an offer of compassion to keep him afloat somehow. But then legally, the self of that question is the magician with all the tools that, that he has, he, that he needs to make this uh, work for the prince. And that's in the environment of this three of pentacles where the firm, again, is just cobbling something together for public display, what's left of his reputation. Up here with this uh, knight of wands, again, perfectly plays in with the firm that the firm is bringing in a plan. Uh, they they sent their uh, their knight uh, in to make sure that there's some uh, uh, plan that works out for him. And uh, the empress in the sky here, if it's not the queen herself, this is the monarchy saying, well, you know, we'll keep him clean. We'll work our magic and we'll make things happen. Well, that's what the cards say. And uh, that and a dollar will get you a cup of coffee. That's what we used to say. So, um, Let's uh, watch closely and see how this plays out, and if uh, there's more to uh, to this than uh, than we know. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.